welcome students in this video class we would have an introduction of the essayist francis bacon bacon's essay of study is prescribed in paper 2nd of your syllabus bacon is termed up as the father of english essays to bacon goes the credit of introducing the essays into english literature so let's know about francis bacon francis bacon was born on january 22 1561 in london he came of an aristocratic family in his 13th year he proceeded to trinity college cambridge and spent 3 years at cambridge he had already become acquainted with court life because of the high position occupied by his father and therefore his essays they reveal the wisdom the practical wisdom in 1597 the first edition of bacon's essays they were published in the autumn of 1605 bacon published his advancement of learning bacon was appointed lord keeper in the year 1617 and he displayed great energy as chancellor so bacon reached the summit of his career as a very successful person and he had won honors dignities wealth and public esteem in his life he died in the year 1626 to bacon goes the credit of introducing the essays into english literature so he is a pioneer a man who introduced a new genre into the literature of his country and his name holds a very important position in the history of the english essay which subsequently became very important as a prominent branch of english literature and which was later practiced by numerous english authors english prose it owes a great deal to bacon's way of writing and bacon the father of english essay is the first great english essayist who enjoys a remarkable reputation his essays introduce a new form of composition into english literature bacon's essays they are capsules of impersonal wisdom they may not give immediate pleasure but give lasting guidance bacon wrote on a wide range of topics and he wrote on subjects which were of popular interest so of sedition and troubles of empire of the greatness of kingdoms and states of suitors of judic uh, judicature truth death of revenge of adversity of parents and children the subjects they are very popular and they cover a wide range bacon employed a unique style which is marked with lucidity clarity economy precision directness his essays they reflect short and pithy maxims with tremendous compression when you read bacon's essays and his style his structure and form each sentence it conveys a deep and concentrated meaning which can be illustrated into various lines due to this bacon style is called aphoristic if we take up the popularity of bacon's essays bacon's essays they are popular because they are written on the subjects of popular interest the ideas which he expresses are by no means deeply philosophical or abstruse if the ideas they were very much philosophical or abstruse the average reader would not respond to them 
but why bacon appeals to them is that he is talking about the subjects which are of common interest and bacon illustrates and reinforces his ideas and arguments with appropriate similes metaphors and quotations so this structure or the way of writing it adds to the popular appeal of his essays and there is a sort of a judicious morality and these doses of judicious moralities in his essays appeal to the readers people they do not like much of the sermonizing and preaching but the way bacon he teaches them the morality in a practical way appeal to the readers it is said that his essay appeals to men's business and bosoms bacon's essays they are a treasure house of worldly wisdom there is no deviation from the subject he sticks to the subject and each and every word is very economically drawn so bacon is also termed up as the wisest and the brightest of mankind because of his intellectual quality bacon's essays they certainly produce a deep impression on our minds these essays they are a treasure house of insight into human nature and a repository of wisdom and ripe experience bacon has written on a variety of topics some of his famous and popular essays include the essay of friendship of death of studies of ambition of unity in religion of great place of friendship of parents and children of suitors of sedition and troubles of truth of unity in religion of goodness and goodness in nature most of the essays of bacon they are very short and this brevity is the distinct merit of bacon's essays it enables a reader to go through an essay by bacon in a single study but this condensation and this terseness it contains a treasure house of learning and it can be illustrated into various pages the essays that he has written they are closely packed and they are loaded with practical wisdom bacon's quotes they have become very famous and their pregnancy of phrase and their effectiveness in conveying significant and important ideas are the main quality of bacon's essays some of bacon's quotes are presented in this slide studies serve for delight for ornaments and for ability he that hath wife and children hath given hostages to fortune man fear death as children fear to go in the dark revenge is a kind of wild justice a mixture of lie doth ever add pleasure some books are to be tasted others to be swallowed and some few to be chewed and digested for there's no such flatterer as is a man's self bacon he described his essays as counsels civil and moral which means that he is providing guidance to his readers as could help them in attaining success in civil life while at the same time you can observe certain basic moral laws in his essays but it simply means that the art or the technique that bacon is guiding us is for the success or is aimed to achieve success in life so just explore and enjoy reading bacon